Hey friends, Logan Wells here with Dream Guitars, and I have yet another fantastic example of modern luthery from Michi Matsuda. Uh, this is a 2003 M1 flat top, uh, number 19. <laughs> and for his 19th guitar, it, especially for his 19th guitar, it's an insanely great instrument. Um, I love the voice on this thing. It has opened up heaps since 2003. It's mahogany back and sides and cedar on top, which is a combination that I love when it's done right. Um, the mahogany adds a little bit of, you know, crunchy push on the, on the front end. And then the, the cedar adds, you know, warmth and a little bit of roundness after the fact. And this guitar exemplifies that in spades. So the voice in this guitar is just immediate, but really also lush enough to be really interesting, but not so lush that notes get lost. Um, it's just really cool. <laughs> so it's one of the guitars that I would happily spend the rest of my days with. But uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll have to get through things here in the first time. In the meantime, excuse me. So getting into it, we have cedar on top. And uh, yeah. It's just so nice, sorry. A rosewood bridge uh, carved in Michi's style with these wings where they flare up like that, which, love that. Uh, check out the photos for a better example of that for sure. And this one actually has pearl um, for the rosette, which is not something he does as much. Sides and the back are both mahogany. Um, there's a fun little strip here to kind of tie the bindings together or bind the bindings, yeah. And then like I said, back is mahogany, pretty straight grain stuff, uh, pretty normal, quote unquote. One other note, uh, Michi has carved out a section of the heel here. So you get your thumb kind of tucked up here. So for those top frets, um, you can get those a little bit more easily with that heel. And it also happens to look really cool too. So, you know, it's pretty much a win, in my opinion. So the neck is also mahogany, um, and it's like a slightly oval shape in hand. Feels fantastic. Uh, for reference, I got, you know, fairly big hands and kind of long fingers, and this guitar feels perfect which is really nice. Uh, we also have nickel Koto 510 miniature tuners on there. And I love Michi's headstock profile, the way it kind of um, tucks in and then flares back out. It just looks really cool, yeah. <sighs> Anyhow, um, <laughs> if you wanna get into just a monster of a machine here with this 2003 M1 Michi Matsuda, give us a shout, I would love to chat. Cheers.